start, I should mention that HTML frames are deprecated from HTML version 5. But there are still websites on the internet that are using HTML frames, so it could be useful for you to learn about HTML frames. So what are HTML frames? HTML frames are HTML elements that allow us to divide screen and separate independent parts. This means that you can change content of one part of your screen until other part of your screen stays unchanged. How to create HTML frames? HTML frames can be created with frame set and frame HTML elements. When we are working with the frames, in start we need to define separate HTML documents that will be loaded like content for our frames. Frame set represents container for our frames, and frame set is HTML element that is used instead of body HTML element. So basically, with the frame set, we are defining container that will load all frames and content with frame HTML elements. What are important frames attributes? For frame set HTML element, they are cools and rows HTML attributes, and for frame HTML element, they are src and name HTML attributes. With calls and rows HTML attributes that we are using for phrase set, we are defining are we gonna divide our screen in columns or in rows. Well is that we set that are separated with the commas represent number of columns or number of rows that we will have inside of our screen. That value can be set in percentage or in pixels. If we don't know how any of our columns or rows will take from height or width of our screen, we can easily use asterisk that will take whole reminds width or height of our screen. For frame HTML element, we need to use src or source HTML attribute that will load content of some HTML document like content for our frame. And name HTML attribute represents unique name for our frame. Name HTML attribute could be useful in cases if we want to point on some frame, we can simply point on name that is defined for that frame. Why we should avoid frames? As we said in the start of this lesson, frames are deprecated from HTML version 5. Also, frames are acting weird on small size devices. So basically things like overlapping of your frames is possible on mobile phones or tablets. Some browsers do not support HTML frames. And also in some browsers, back button doesn't work like it should when we are using frames. So how to cover frames failure? Frames failure can be covered with no frames HTML element. No frames HTML element is element that we will place inside of our frame set HTML element. And like content for our no frames, we will set body HTML element that will be displayed in case if our frames are not loaded for any reason. So any content or text like sorry your frames are not loaded or anything like that can be placed here.
thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate or PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.